Welcome again to another fun question and answer with Doc. Um, we're broadcasting from It Is Natural Market, and you've got to check out the picture I just posted on Facebook. There was a big old empty box of Dunkin' Donuts with a crushed up Pepsi can on the inside. Yeah, going into It Is Natural Market here in the health food store. Cleverly concealed behind a skinny palm tree sitting there and the <laughs> which was a planter with a very very skinny palm tree sitting right in the center of it and it's big old like how many dozen probably two dozen donuts Box. Oh, it's one of those nice big cases of donuts so you can go ahead and take a look oh man i've got <laughs> i already have some uh <laughs> some comments on the photo um karen erica's mom says too funny. Did they save one for me? And uh, Linda, who runs Southwest Florida Naturally Magazine, she says, it's been a very long week for me. I hate to say it, but I want a box of those. Um, yeah, understandable. I go through those cravings too. Like, We've been gluten-free in, uh, in our quest with Erica for two months now? Two and a half. Two and a half months. And that means also no alcohol. And boy, this week, a beer sounded really, really good. I might get some of that gluten-free beer and have one of those this weekend. We're talking about going to get some Thai food. Um, she was reading something really interesting about coconut milk today that we, we have this, this group on Facebook called A Little Bit Crunchy. And that group has been a lot of fun to talk with. But I swear, you know, some groups should be sponsored by some organization that uh, constantly posts or, or their answers keep on coming up on posts like that. We figured out that a little bit crunchy should be sponsored by both breast milk and coconut oil because that and is the, and, and amber necklaces, because those are the three most common answers to maladies that moms post uh, by, the, by the members of a little bit crunchy. Uh, put some breast milk or some coconut oil and then tie it up with an amber necklace. That seems to cover all of your bases. Um, but what I didn't understand was why the coconut oil and the breast milk were kind of coming together for the same reasons. And Erica was uh, looking up a book that we got from uh, Nonino Rafferty, from, uh, she was our acupuncturist. And apparently there's the same, um, same fatty acid chain. Well, she, she tells me it's not in the book, but she was looking at it further and it's a, one of the same antimicrobial agents that's in coconut milk is also found in breast milk. And so, milk. it's an all mammalian milk. So apparently you could milk your cat and put that on your kid's diaper rash too. So, yeah, but. Who milks cats? Yeah, who milks a cat? <laughs> oh, sorry, Erica wants me to verify that there are people sitting next to us. <laughs> Just makes it funnier. <laughs> 